Hello and welcome to The Financial Room. I'm your host once again, Natasha Bridge-Mohan. Before we begin uh, in regards to our topic, talking about additional health care uh, testing measures in Ontario and so forth, I wanted to wish all of my viewers and family and friends a uh, happy Diwali for those of you who are Hindu, who are Sikh, or those of you who just embrace the Festival of Lights, happy Diwali to all of you, wishing your family, from my family to your family, the Bridge Group, from the Bridge Group, if I may say, a happy, happy Diwali, full of love, prosperity, and happiness in your home, and of course, good, good health. Now, I want to talk to you guys about COVID continuing and what is happening. Now, I know a lot of you are hearing things in the media. A lot of you are calling me, emailing me, giving me your thoughts and opinions, especially in the economy or in regards simply about mortgages and so forth. And I know a lot of the information that you read or you hear or you see can be very misconstruing and very confusing. And it can cause a lot of anxiety or frustration or anger and what it is exactly that you're reading. Now, here is the most important thing. The best thing I could advise you all is just to subscribe to a software program, um, subscriptions such as World Health Organization or the Ministry of Health in Ontario or Ministry of Health Canada and get the facts and try to avoid watching the news at all cost. My philosophy is uh, uh, no news is good news. So try to avoid watching the news and just stay focused on just pertinent things that you and your family need to know. Now, COVID-19 is not going away anytime soon and the safety and health measures have not changed. So you don't need to um, watch the news to learn about how many deaths there is, what is happening in terms of uh, testing and so forth. You need to stay safe and just follow the safety health measures, wash your hands, um, sanitize, be around those you love and those you trust, stay in your bubble and start doing hobbies and spending time with your family and engaging on home projects, walks, family drives, read a book, start a journal, uh, pick up an old hobby or learn a new hobby. There's so many things that you can do. Now, there are pop-up mobile hotspots for COVID centers testing where you don't need it. You don't need um, an appointment, if I say, but they are the pharmacies. You do need a uh, appointment, so make sure that you book that too, uh, as well. And there's also the new public health measures, and I know. I am first one to say that it's very, very tough, especially coming from a large family. They're really encouraging you to just to stay in your family household bubble. And that's pretty tough, especially if you have um, loved ones such as parents and nieces and nephews and siblings that you cannot see. It could be very, very, very tough. And, and I get it. And what are you, what you can do is you can, you know, um, have a Zoom video party with your family. You can WhatsApp video call them. You can have drive-bys, you can have outside, um, it's cold right now, but you can have outside firewood, uh, marshmallows, a nice evening out, keep warm with a heater outside. And just to get that extra 10 people that you need, just to see them and, and show them that you love them and you care for them and you miss them. It is tough. Times are really, really tough. We're getting into Christmas in less than over a month away and it can be really tough for the children too as well. So the schools schools are getting, you know, uh, shut down or, or, or closed down or so forth. And that, that can be really, really hard too as well for those students who are in class pick up the phone and call us. We want to help you. We care about your financial situation. And don't forget, the Bridge Group of Companies is the home of all of your financial needs.